Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger for back in your video. This one's to be about seven signs a woman is set from God. A lot of you guys were requesting that in the comment section of the video that I made about seven signs a woman is set from the devil. And I feel like this one's just as important too as well because in times in life, um, we want a wife, you know, we want, you know, we want a companionship. And one thing that the devil does, he sends counterfeits, okay? So it's good to make this video to let you guys know the signs that you will see because God's always giving us signs that someone's from him or someone sent from the devil. So it's important to always pay attention to the signs, okay? Also, there's a Bible verse that says that a wicked woman is given over to a wicked man. So if you keep on attracting Jezebels, uh, witches, harlots, et cetera, et cetera, that means there's something in you that you have to fix yourself, okay? This is why taking accountability is important. Play, playing the blame game, that person's a bad person. If that person that you attract is a bad person, there's something inside you that you have to fix yourself to, okay? It also says, let me finish that verse. It says, a wicked woman is given over to a wicked man, but um, a godly woman is given over to he who fears the Lord, okay? Let's get it, let's go. The seven signs a woman is set from God. The number one sign you'll see, not in order by the way, but number one could be in order is equally yoked. I, under, I understand that it sounds easy, you know, equally yoked, but you guys, I'm telling you, if you're in a relationship or a marriage, oh man, I feel for those people that are in a marriage unequally yoked, and y'all don't have the same belief system, okay, the Bible even says, how could two walk together except they be agreed, okay, so let's say you believe in the Most High, you, be, you believe in Jesus, okay, Yeshua, uh, you believe in keeping the commandments, you know, you believe in the truth, pretty much, and that person Maybe that person is, you know, following other religions, other gods, okay? Because people believe that there's, you know, that there's only one God. And there is only one true God. There's all other false gods, you know, that people follow too that they believe is the most high, okay? There's only one true God and the most high, the God of Israel. If they ain't following that, psh, red flag, keep it, keep it moving, bro, straight up. Because I'm telling you, bro, there's a lot of times I learn in life. Okay, now unequally yoke, it's not only for relationships. Now this video is centered for that, obviously, but it could also be friendships too as well. When you're unequally yoked, I'm telling you, it's gonna be hell on earth, okay? I'm telling you. So unequally, so that person that's something from God, they're gonna be equally yoked. You guys both believe in the truth. You believe in uh, Christ, you believe in God. You believe what the Bible says, okay? So even though it go, might go against that person's programming, that's God's word. God's word over your feelings, over your emotions, okay? So that person understands that, okay? So equally yoked in the truth, okay? Their foundation is on, is on Christ and God. It's important that a person has a foundation, okay? Because there are people out here who are lukewarm, okay? And the first person who was lukewarm was Eve. Ooh, I'm speaking too fast. This would be for, the, I think, number four, five, or six. I'm speaking too fast, okay? But equally yoked, someone's not lukewarm, someone who's not playing both sides, okay? Like I said earlier, the devil sends counterfeits. You have to be able to discern the counterfeit because that counterfeit that's sent from the devil will be used to destroy you, okay? So always pay attention to the signs. This is why my signs videos are always, they're always powerful, every single one. All right, number two, the second sign a woman is, is not sent from God, oh, sorry, the second sign a woman is sent from God, my fault, is they're not overly religious, okay? The Bible says, be not over-righteous, um, you will destroy yourself, okay? Also, one thing I, I notice about people who are overly religious, and this also applies for both man and woman, but this video is centered on women, and I will be making a, a video too, Seven Signs, um, A Man is Sent From God, probably next week or somewhere around that. But when a woman is overly religious, one thing I learned, she can't be taught anything. She's ready to conform to her, her programming, um, you know, a lot of these overly religious women, their their head, their husband is their pastor. Okay, they they follow their his rulership. They and if you get in a relationship with them, they're not gonna. You know, you can't you can't serve two masters. So they're gonna serve, they're gonna pick their pastor. They're gonna pick whoever that they're, they're being programmed by over you over the head. Okay, so always keep that in mind. A woman who's overly religious, you, she can't be taught anything. She they can't be taught anything. I learned this so many times, bro. I'm telling you right now. Okay, so always avoid the overly religious woman, okay? In life, even, even the scripture tells you about a balance. You don't want to be over-righteous. You don't want to be over-wicked, over okay? So always keep that in mind. When a woman is just overly, overly uh, religious, overly righteous, which means the same thing, overly religious, overly righteous, right? That's a red flag, bro. A person has to have a balance. Now, I'm not telling you to go, um, you know, let's be fire for God and let's be cold. No, I'm not saying that, but... In life, you don't want to be overly religious because that could come off as too, you know, overly righteous. And, you know, that could also push people away. You know, you could become overly judgmental and all the things above. And I, I learned this too, guys, because I used to be that. I used to be overly uh, religious. The reason why is because I was around those type of people. So I thought, okay, that's how I'm supposed to be. 
Okay, but thankfully God, he called me out of certain groups, certain churches, and I was able to learn truth and, you know, understand, okay, you know, so the overly religious woman, beware of her, okay? And I know some people, they might disagree with that, but you you experience it yourself. Now, if you're overly religious and she is, and obviously y'all are going to click together, but in my, in my walk, I learned that you got to avoid these type of people, okay, the overly religious person. Number three is, oh, this is, this is a good one. Yes, 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 all right? Number three sign is when the trial and tribulations, storms appear, she will fight to she will fight to stay together. Okay, there's a lot of times when that happened, right? And I'm gonna go over it with number four sign too, where like you know remember because the devil doesn't like when two people come together, especially in a marriage. Okay, even Satan attacked you know Adam and Eve. He attacked the first marriage, the first union on this earth. Okay, so that's the way he's gonna do to you. Even before you guys get married, let's say you guys are in a relationship, you guys are courting each other, right? And you know you guys are doing according to the word, right? And, you know, the devil doesn't like, he does not like when when two people are coming in one, especially under a unit, under Christ, under God, you know, coming in righteousness. The devil does not like that. So what he's going to do, he's going to send ex-girlfriends, ex-boyfriends, you know, you know he's going to attack Eve first because that's how the devil, um, had, the only way the devil could get to Adam is through Eve. Okay, we can, we can learn a lot from the story of Adam and Eve. We can learn a lot. Okay, so... Yes, when the devil's attacking a marriage or relationship, he's going to first get to the woman first to get to the man. You have to know this, man. You have to. So always keep this in mind, all right? So when the trials and tribulations come, because every marriage, every relationship, you know, I know social media is programming people that, because, you know, people on social media, they only show the good in the relationship. They only show when they're smiling together, you know, when they're taking trips. They don't, they don't show you the bad stuff. You know, they don't show you the times where all hell is breaking loose. You know, when when you're in the season of disappointing, when you're in the season of of losing, they don't show you that. Okay, but best believe every marriage, every marriage, every relationship, it goes through that. So, but when they when they when you do go through that, she st she stays by your side. Okay, she maybe starts to pray more. You know, she starts instead of instead of her giving in to the devil, she's she's resisting, she's fighting against it. Now she's praying more, or maybe she's doing some fasting, maybe she's in her word more. That's the woman you want. Okay, so when th times get hard, she's not just straying away. Okay, she she's really uh, rocking with you. She really loves you. Okay, and she's and not only she's she's loving you with her words. She's not love bombing you with her words. She's backing it up with actions. Yes, yes, yes. Here it goes, guys. Here it goes. Whoa, that's the woman you want. Okay, so and like I said, guys, it's always gonna happen. I know social media is programming you that everything is all you know. Rainbow and Skittles or whatever people will be saying. But no, the trials and tribulations, they will come. The storms, they will appear. But she will fight to stay together, okay? Number four. And also, too, when you have an anointing on your life, okay, when you have a high calling from God in your life, okay, the devil's going to always, she's always going to try to use someone to try to stop your calling. So the woman, the woman that you're with is very, very important, okay? You, you, the, she can either build you up or tear you down. Okay, there's even a Bible verse that says that, and I'll leave a verse all throughout this video, but I'll leave a verse right here that says that the foolish woman, she tears down with her own hands. Okay, so you got to watch out for these fools. You got to watch out for the woman of the night, the woman that's for the streets. You got to watch out for them. Okay, number four is when Satan attacks because Satan will attack. Yes, okay. We talk about spiritual warfare on this channel. We talk about, you know, having the armor of God on. We talk about demons, devils, evil spirits. Yes, Satan, the devil, he is going to attack the, what God is bringing together. Remember, always remember this too. What God brings together, no man can separate. But the devil, he will try. Oh yeah, he will try. Okay, so when Satan attacks her, remember, because the devil had to get to Eve before he got to Adam. So Satan's going to attack the woman first, all right? When Satan attacks her, or the relationship, the marriage relationship, she doesn't fold, which I was talking about number three. What does it mean by she doesn't fold? She doesn't give up. Okay, a lot of the times... The woman, they just gave up, okay? They, they give up and they're like, you know, because like I said, you have a high call in your life. You have a high purpose. You've been anointed to do uh, the Father's will, okay? And a lot of times when, when, you're, when you have a high calling in life, the devil attacks the most. When you're saving a lot of souls for the kingdom, the devil's attack the most because you're a threat to Satan's kingdom, okay? And remember, it's not about numbers. It's all about one because Jesus left the one lost, uh, the, uh, left 99 sheep to find the one lost sheep. Okay, so always keep that in mind. So when the devil is attacking her, because he will, he'll always attack the weaker vessel, right? She doesn't fold. She won't fold. She has her armor on. She's praying more. Like I said, she's praying more. She's in her war more. That's the type of woman you want. A woman who has faith, 
all right? And faith is a spiritual gift. So you want to have someone who also has, you know, who's exercising those gifts of the Holy Spirit, all right? Now, that could be the number eight sign is, you know, having the Holy Spirit, but that should be obvious, right? Okay, so always keep that in mind. That's the woman you want. And like I said, you're going to be tested, okay? And sometimes it's not, it's not just a devil testing you. Sometimes God will have you to see if she's really, is she really for you? Okay, is she, is she gonna, cause she handled the test. Cause she go through those flames. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Sometimes God will allow it. Just like how he allowed Job to get attacked. Okay, it's just a test to see if that person's ready for the blessing. A lot of times, a lot of women, they fail. They fail the test. They fail, they, they missed out on the blessings. Woo, I mean, <laughs> it's just, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. So yeah, man, she doesn't fold. This is the type of woman you want. A lot of times, a woman, she will fold and then she'll start entertaining other dudes, okay? Or she'll fold and then she'll just go back to the streets. She folded. She wasn't ready for the prize. She wasn't really about the kingdom of God, man. So keep that in mind. Number five, the fifth sign that a woman is set from God is she will go the extra mile to spend time with you, okay? Which means she has a high interest level, okay? A lot of times, especially Christians, they get into relationships, not because they're really attracted to that person, just because that they're a Christian, you know, because they believe in God. And yes, like I said, that's number one sign. You want to be equally yoked. But you also want to be attracted to someone, you know, physically attracted to someone, okay? And also, as a man, you know, when a woman's investing into you, she's taking that, she's she's spending, she's driving hours to go see you. She's going the extra mile. You have to match that too, okay? Like before, before I got married with my wife, she would drive two hours to come to see me. But, you know, she was overly invested in me and I was investing back into her. Like you don't want to have someone invest in you and you're not doing nothing back, okay? And that's the thing what a lot of women do. They will overly invest in a dude who was sent from the devil or who's not even about the most high. And it seems like women tend to gravitate to those men. I don't know why. I, I don't I don't know why because I know some people in the comments. Why does that happen? I don't know, bro. You ask you ask Eve. <laughs> you ask her, bro. I don't I don't know. But a lot of times women they'll overly invest in these demonic guys, these dudes who are not about the truth, who are not about the most high. And then you know when when they do find a righteous man, they don't want to invest in him. I, I, don't, I don't I don't know. You gotta ask Eve, man. You gotta ask woman, the woman, right? So a woman who goes the extra mile for you, that means she really likes you. And, and especially if she has all these signs, oh, it's a wrap. <laughs> Might as well, it's a wrap. You might as well go get married, say your vows, you know, uh, make that covenant between you and the Most High, and start making babies, bro. <laughs> Woo! Yes, 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 man. So you have to pay attention. A lot of guys, they're not masculine. You know, they're not in their masculine energy. Uh, they allow a woman to rule over them. That's a lot of men in America. That's why the world is the way it is today. Okay, they don't know how to take rulership. They don't know how to have authority. Okay. They don't know how to express her masculinity, and that's why the woman she ain't going the extra mile. That's why she doesn't really like. She, like she likes you because she, you know, you have the same faith, but she's not really attracted to you. So don't be afraid to express your masculinity because a woman of God, she's gonna like that. She's gonna be more attracted to that because you're a man. That's what she's supposed to be. Okay, so this is this is an important sign, man. She's going the extra mile for you to spend time with you. She really likes you. Okay, that I mean, what what more could you ask for a woman? When, when a woman's going the extra mile for you, what more can you ask? All right, so that's that's a sign. Pay attention to the sign. Like I said, one of my videos, I can go over like, for this subject, I could go over like 20 signs, bro. But my whiteboard can only fit seven. I, I think I might invest in a bigger whiteboard for certain topics, but I mean, all you need is seven signs for this. That's all you really need. But anyways, number six. The six signs that a woman is set from God, she, she has been born again, okay? And the fruits will prove it, okay? I had to make sure I put that. The fruits, because everyone says... Or not everyone, but a lot of people say that they're born again, right? But Jesus says that she will know him, or so you'll know them by their fruits, okay? So, yeah, someone could say they're born again. Someone could say they're filled up with the Holy Spirit. They're on fire for God. But the fruits will get to back it up, okay? So don't be deceived out here. Like I said, guys, the devil, he sends counterfeits, especially when, when God's about to uh, give you your, your wife, okay? The devil, before you get your wife, the devil's going to send a counterfeit. Oh, man, I'm telling you, man, this is how it works. This is how it works. The devil is always trying to stop your blessing. So, you know, you don't want to deal with a woman who's not born again. Because a woman who's not born again, she's under the curse of Eve. This is why Jesus says that you can't see the kingdom of God unless you become born again. All right? So always keep that in mind. You have to, have to know this. A woman who's not born again, she's, she's under the curse of Eve. She's going to be like, just like how Eve was, rebellious, disobedient, etc., etc. Okay? So you want a woman who's truly born again. And like I said, the fruits are going to back that up. All right? So she has been born again, 
and the fruits will prove it. You're going to know a tree by its fruits, all right? Many people are being deceived out here just because they can't exercise discernment. And the reason why they can't exercise discernment is because they don't have the Holy Spirit because the only way you can discern, exercise this, the gift of discernment is through the Holy Spirit. And people ask me, you know, Mark, how do I get the Holy Spirit? Well, the Bible says you got to ask and it shall be given into you. So ask God for that gift and he will give it to you. Now, will it take a day or a week or a month or whatever, how long? That's between God. But you also can't be in love with this world, okay? Because loving this world is a spiritual death sentence, all right? Number seven, the seven signs that a woman has been sent from God is that she's not a feminist, okay? She respects your rulership. And the reason why, I know it sounds, you know, not a feminist, what do you mean, okay? Most women out here, especially the Christian woman, they're still under the curse of Eve, okay? Feminists, like, they, they, don't, they don't respect man, they don't respect your authority, they don't respect that you're the head, okay? When a woman doesn't respect that you're the head, and, you know, in a marriage or a relationship, that means Satan is, is in control, okay? When someone's operating out of order, now we know, because this is how order works. It goes God, uh, Yeshua, the man, and the woman. So when when Eve, when the woman, when she believes she's the head, or when she doesn't respect your authority, okay? And because you got to understand, God, he's obedient. Christ, he's obedient. You being a man, you following the truth, you following Christ, you're in your scriptures, you're, you're applying it to your life, you're 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 in, uh, in the right, okay? But the, when the woman, she's operating... And, and not the truth and the lies, okay? All chaos, all hell is gonna break loose when she doesn't respect your authority. She doesn't respect, you know, you, you, you being a man of God, okay? You can't be with a woman like that. No matter how good she looks like, I don't care how big her butt is or how good she puts on her makeup because nowadays, a lot of the, all, I call it the AI filter. A lot of these women, they look good online, but it's just the AI filter, Snapchat, Instagram filter, they got all the makeup on. They don't really look like that, you know? So no matter how good they could look, you know, it doesn't matter if they can't respect your rulership they can't respect your authority you being a king okay and you following the king of kings they can't respect that and she's a feminist because like i said a lot, of, a lot of the christian women they're closet feminists a lot of them are so you don't want to deal with a woman like that okay and that's for you know obvious reasons right so these are the seven signs that you will see when a woman is sent from god number one she's you guys are unequally oh, sorry you guys are equally yoked in the truth okay Foundation is in Christ and in God. Remember, because the foundation that is in Christ and in God is built on a rock. And you're doing what he says. You're applying his teachings, the teachings of Christ in your life. That's a strong foundation. It's a rock, okay? Number two is not overly religious, okay? Number three is when trials and tribulations, storms appeal, uh, appear, she will fight to, uh, to stay together, okay? Number four is when Satan attacks her, uh, the relationship, she doesn't fold. Number five is she will go the extra mile to spend the time with you. Number six is she will be born again and the fruits will prove it. And number seven is she's not a feminist and she respects your, your rulership. She respects that you're the head and understands that. Okay, so these are the seven signs of a woman sent from God. I will be making a seven signs a man is sent from God probably next week. So stay tuned on that. If you guys made this far and you want to support the channel, support the stream, support the video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video too. Share it with your, the girl you're talking to or the man you're talking to. Share this video out so more people can get the message. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.